Good day, good day, good day, good day, good day, good day, good day. It's John Nakim Mulkari Shumade coming at you again. This is the time at the end of the month of October. We are about to move into a new month, the month of November. I take this opportunity to release this word unto you that God has a covenant with you. If you really surrender your life to Christ, God has a covenant with you. And what is a covenant? A covenant is the agreement, arrangement, decision between two people. When they are saying we have in a relationship, a relationship what? It could be of two equals, it could be of two unequal people. When a covenant is made, usually it's sealed with something. God made covenant with people. And sometimes there's a covenant token. The proof of the existence of that covenant relationship within those two people. When two leaders make covenant, they're saying, I got your back, you got my back. Whatever affects you, affect me. So God is making a covenant with you. He loves you so much. He says in Psalm 89, verse 34 to 35, My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. Once I have sworn by my holiness that I will not lie unto you. For this case, I put my name. And when you hear it, put your name. He says, he says, he says, once I have sworn to my holiness that I would not lie unto John Akim or Kalish of my day of a gap of national ministry. That is a great covenant that God has signed with me. Covenant of love, a gap of love. And I want you to know that he loves you as well. He's signing a covenant with you. Uh, there were covenants that were signed in the Bible. You see the general Abrahamic covenant in Genesis 17. You see the personal covenant with God in Psalm 89. We see covenant with Prince Jonathan. <laughs> for Samuel 18, 1 to 4. Covenant with the tribe of Judah, Second Samuel chapter 2, verse 1 to 4, and covenant with the elders of Israel, Second Samuel chapter 5, 1 to 3. So a covenant is being caught with all these people, and God is also got covenant for you. As you are entering to the end of the year, as I'm entering into the end of the year, God said, my covenant I will fulfill. I will not lie. Whatever I said to you shall surely come to pass. So I want you to begin to receive and begin to believe and begin to do your part while God does his part. Hmm. I want to talk to you specifically about Covenant of grace and mercy. Grace is ability to do the unusual. Grace makes one to function without struggle. I receive the grace of God. I enter into that covenant of grace. And I believe that you, as you listen to me too, enter into that covenant, unbroken covenant of grace. It's a divine ability 
ability to start to complete a God-given task. May you receive that ability to start and complete that God-given task that's been placed in your life. May you fulfill destiny. May you fulfill destiny. You will be successful. You will have a merited favor. Doors begin to open to you and I for progress. Your, your ministry begin to take off. You have victory on every side. Success in life. Nothing shall take you away from the presence of God. Grace is one of the greatest ingredients for effective Christian service uh, and practical intercession because it's not by our power that our might uh, but by the Spirit of God uh, and when He gives you and I God grace uh, to perform uh, we will fulfill it not because we have the power because He has the power to fulfill that covenant for you and I. Hey, I have a Mercy However, provide a great platform, a great platform for forgiveness instead of judgment. Have you heard? Mercy triumph of our judgment. So the covenant of grace and mercy uh, is in grace. Uh, I've been to do the unusual. Uh, mercy uh, won't wipe away uh, that thing uh, that you have done that the enemy is trying to put uh, as, a, as a barrier between you and your covenant of, with God. Uh, it's a mercy says uh, it is a great platform for you uh, for forgiveness uh, instead of judgment. Uh, that thing that you have done, uh, the Lord is wiping away uh, grace and mercy. Uh, make prayer the work of the ministry easy. When we have grace, the work of ministry is easy. The mercy of God forgive all our undoing, our iniquity. Father, I thank you, Father Lord, uh, for your grace and mercy uh, bestowed upon uh, upon each and every one of these listeners. Uh, I thank you uh, for the salvation by grace. Uh, I want you to begin to say amen to this. Uh, amen as you enter into the new month. Uh, the new month is fast approaching uh, and as we enter into the ember month, uh, the end uh, November December and January is coming. May you enter into, into November by covenant of grace and mercy. May you enter into December by the covenant of grace and mercy. You see, grace gives you a bit to do the unusual. Mercy, forgive all your iniquity. May you enter. May I enter. May your family enter. May everything close to you enter. Everyone close to you enter. Lord, that we thank you, Father Lord, uh, for the ages past, uh, the hope that we have in years, uh, and because of your grace, uh, that hope will become a reality. Uh. Father Lord, I give you glory uh, for preserving our life uh, unto this end, uh, unto December, unto January, uh, unto February 2004, unto 2024. Unto, unto March, unto April, unto June, unto July, unto August, unto September, unto October, November, December, January again, and it begin to roll on. Grace and mercy. That covenant will never fail upon your life. It will not fail upon my life. It will not fail upon your ministry. We give you glory. We acquire what I will desire by the grace of God. Whatever that you desire, acquire by the grace of God. Let grace and mercy of God, let it be sufficient in your life, in my life henceforth, in your ministry, in your work, in everything that you do. Covenant of grace and mercy make you do, and you and I do the unusual. And mercy remove that barrier of sin uh, that the enemy is waiting to, 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 to use uh, as, a, as, a, as a, a covenant breaker. No, uh, mercy, triumph of uh, judgment. Uh. Oh, Father Lord, uh, I thank you, Father Lord, uh, as you satisfy me uh, and my listener early with your mercy, that we may rejoice continually. Uh. I thank you, Father Lord, uh, as your grace abound towards us, uh, towards my family, uh, towards your family, uh, so that in all 
all things, uh, we are all abound uh, in every good work. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, Lord, uh, thank you for pouring out uh, your grace, your grace, your grace uh, that will cause us to be divinely connected uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, I thank you for this moment. Uh, it's, a short, it's a short message, uh, but let grace and mercy and the covenant that God has cut for you and I, uh, and he said he will not repent of what he says. Uh, he said whatever he says he will do. Uh, yes, uh, let the, uh, the mouth of the Lord uh, that speak uh, a covenant uh, of grace and mercy towards you and I, uh, that mouth uh, will begin to speak by his spirit uh, into everyone you need to be connected with, everyone I need to be connected with, uh, that grace and mercy begin to speak for us. Uh, I am a little shaker, etc. Uh, and shall it be, uh, so shall it be, uh, because we know it's not by our might, uh, it's not by our power, it's by the spirit of the Lord. Uh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Uh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Uh, enter into November by the covenant of grace and mercy. Enter into December by the covenant of grace and mercy. Enter into January by the covenant of grace and mercy. And your January will not be painful. Not because you spend all the money in December, whatever. I say because of covenant of grace and mercy. Yeah. I say we call for that blessing from the north, south, east and west. Your January shall be bountiful. Full of fruitfulness. Full of grace and mercy. Full of blessing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Again, it's John Akim Ulkadi Shumade Agape Love International Ministry. We are going international. We are going global. We thank you for your support. We thank you for sharing. We thank you for subscribing. We thank you for liking. And we thank you for making this covenant of grace and mercy available to all the people that you know they need it in every ramification of life. Spiritually, physically, financially, professionally, relationship, covenant of grace and mercy. On your children, on your loved ones, on your family, covenant of grace and mercy, so shall it be. Take it, receive it by grace. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.